Hi everyone, it's Kinga. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I just posted a whole, actually I just posted a bunch of hauls. Uh, and I have a few more coming. I'm sorry, I can't help myself. Um, anyway, I'm going to get down to the business because my camera is dying, as always. When would my camera decide not to die? When I don't need it, clearly. Uh, this video is basically t-shirt galore, galore. Basically most of the stuff in here you see are t-shirts. One of them was gifted. The ever I bought. And I'm really ashamed of myself. I'm sorry. But I couldn't help myself. So, uh, let's just do it. And also these stuff I bought for, like, for the month or so. So, yeah. To start with the t-shirt that I already wore a couple of times, so it is kind of dirty. I am sorry, but yeah, that's how I roll. And it's this Slipknot t-shirt. It has a back to it. And it's beautiful. Look at them. They're gorgeous. Are they beautiful? They're real. Oh, they're beautiful. So this is the Slipknot slip knot slip knot t-shirt and i got that um from hmv and it's originally from a bravado clothing and i say their clothes their band t-shirts are the best band t-shirts ever like they're so soft i noticed so many band t-shirts have really this crap quality to them like why would you do that my favorite band is on your t-shirt and you decide to make it crap mm -mm. however Bravado, they have amazing t-shirts, amazing quality. I was actually kind enough to, was to be given one of their t-shirts, which I'll show you just in a second. But yeah, this is the Slipknot one. I got from HMV and it's cool. I love it. I'm kind of obsessed with, with the combination of yellow and black at the moment. The other one I got was actually where my kick for band t-shirts started. And it is this <sighs> very Manson t-shirt. Isn't he beautiful? He's gorgeous. Isn't he? He's um, he's a bay. He's. I mean, look at him. Um, but yeah, I want it again from Bravado Clothing, size small, and it is. It's, it's beautiful. I love Marilyn Manson. I've been listening to Marilyn Manson since I was like. 14, 15, I would say, and yeah, he's awesome. I love him. And now I have a t-shirt with his face on it. This t-shirt from Bravado is actually the one that I was kind of gifted. And it's, a, and it's extra large, so it's really big on me. But I love the fact, I love when band t-shirts are too big for me because they're very comfortable. I can sleep in them and I basically feel like I'm wearing a good dress. My first one is the grey one and it has... The lettering gowns and roses and some graphic design. It's very really cool, very really artsy, artsy. Uh, it has this, and it's quite. It has a stretch to it, and it's really comfortable. Like the fabric is so soft. So thank you so much for Bravado for this. So here's the story. I was I originally wanted this T-shirt, which I'll show you in a full second, but. They sent me, by mistake, this t-shirt. And I'm not complaining, because it has Bill's beautiful face from... on it. And if you don't know who Bill is, I don't know who you are right now. Bill Collard, he is my fashion icon, he's my style icon, he's basically my icon. I love him, I want to marry him. He's a human puppy, I adore him. Uh, but I was, I bought, basically I originally wanted a Tokyo Auto t-shirt and I bought it on eBay. But by mistake, the guy, he sent me this one and I'm not complaining because it's for free. So, and then he was like, oh, I'm really sorry, I'm going to send you the one you wanted. I was like, yeah, great. Can I keep this one? He's like, yeah. This is the original t-shirt, which is basically the, al the album. This is the album, which is originally uh, the photo shoot from the time now. Uh, I actually don't remember. But it's from the album from 2007 and the last one they did in German. How could I forget it? Oh my god. 
No, I'm the worst fan girl, but just just ignore me. So yeah, this is the from the photo shoot for the last German album. It's white and it has my babes on it. I mean, look at them. They're so pretty. And it says Tokyo Hotel, and I love it because it has my babies, and it's in monochrome, which is like my favorite band t-shirt thing ever. I used to have a Tokyo Hotel band t-shirt, but then I gave it away ages ago because I thought, I still, because I wasn't as big a fine girl of them. I don't know what the hell my 15 year old self was thinking, and I need to go back in time and slap her. H&M, and it's this... Dirty, mustardy, orange top and I'm obsessed with it. I love, like, it would go so with my makeup right now. I feel like for spring, I'm gravitating towards more color, but towards, like, more fall appropriate color, like yellows and reds and browns and poopy oranges. But this with red lip and leather jacket. That's a look. This is, this is the last t-shirt? No, we have more. Oh my god. The This is the last H&M t-shirt. And I got this because I'm a lazy Muppet. And I basically had an event to go to. But I forgot my uh, clothes that aren't my uniform. To change into. So I was like, you know what? Whatever, let's go to H&M. Yeah, sorry, my camera died. <laughs> Um, anyway, we were talking t-shirts. That's the last t-shirt I got from H&M. I'm sorry. It's be decent. Um, it's this crop top. And I love the detailing on this. It's... Just <laughs> show you. It's this lace and it's super... I hate using the word sexy. Uh, but it is like super sexy and it's very fitting. It's very flattering. Um... And I love it's very interesting crop top because it's not the crop top to where it's showing up your belly button. It's just, it cuts just above the hip line. And I love that because it, you can wear your normal jeans and still look good. And you can wear your high rise jeans and it still, it still looks good. So it's very versatile top and... I really liked it because it was very, again, black, so it's a classic, a black uh, normal jacket, and it's very elegant, you can just pop a leather jacket or um, something casual and it looks quite cash, so it's very versatile top, and yeah, I don't know why I'm going on about it. Um, another top is also black. I just count how many t-shirts I have because it is a lot. A lot, it's ridiculous, but oh well. I love we I mean, need to change with watching and stuff, right? Um, but I got this v neck from Kos, and it's an extra small. And I was kind of annoyed because I'm usually size small or extra small, and it fits me right. However, this one looks so baggy on, like. I mean, it's kind of a flattering baggy, but I want it to be fit, quite. And I thought it's extra small, it's going to be fine. No, it's so baggy, so calls. I don't know what you're doing with your sizing, but not that I'm complaining. I'm fine having extra small, too, sm too big for me, but he understood my frustration. But yeah, it's just a plain black top, you know, just to wear between washings. So, uh, I'm going to show you the last top and actually it is, I got this uh, from Depop and I just signed in for Depop like a month ago and I'm a fan, I'm a big fan. I feel like I'm going to be shopping there a lot. Maybe not a lot because I need to stop shopping. I got this t-shirt uh, and it's from Brandy Mel. <laughs> I'm so excited I'm dropping it. Uh, but I got this just basic plain white t-shirt. It's a bit sheer. The length goes up to your hip. And it's your typical normal brandy mobile top. And I got this from uh, Sarah's Hodkinson's uh, Depop. And if you know me, you know anything about me, I'm obsessed with Sarah Hodkinson. She's my favorite YouTuber. 
obviously when I got the Depop account she was the first person I followed because I love her so I need to get that and she sold it for like with shipping, it was so much cheaper than the Brandy Level in UK because this top, I feel like in UK would be, I don't know how much, but I feel it, it's so cheaper. It's so cheaper. It's I feel I love Depot because most of the stuff it is cheaper than you would buy it in stores. And I'm a fan. Yeah, just plain like plain black, plain white T-shirt, and we're so soft. The last clothing item, and oh. And no. dress. It's a dress. <laughs> it looks really short, but I promise you, it's a dress. And it is this baby doll dress with lace hemline on it, and super. It's one of those dresses that's so casual and so elegant and so nineties. It has this very Courtney Love bit of Sherry Carey uh, feel to it and I'm obsessed with these dresses I love the whole 90s vibe and it's kind of like pajamas and if I could wear pajamas in public that is my kind of thing again with this one I have an issue because it's size 6 so it's extra small and it's still too big for me like it's baggy I look like 11 year old boy and I'm kind of not okay with that but I like this dress so much that I just had to buy it and now that I hold this I can actually wear it and not have it in a bag and have it being wasted because that's what I do so uh, I bought this book uh, by Vivian Westwood and again I'm obsessed with books I'm such a bookworm and fashion books is one of my favorite things so like my favorite type of books to have to own to read and I actually wanted to buy this for so long because Vivian Westwood was the first fashion designer I was really interested in was really into the whole punk culture and her whole aesthetic is I love because she's more than fashion she's in our know, lifestyle and she's such an inspiration and she doesn't is not afraid of being herself and breaking the rules and she's just awesome so obviously I have to buy this and I look forward to reading it and finding more about her even though I'm pretty sure I've seen I've read everything I could because I, I did a research on her back in high school and um, it's quite controversial because it's the lime crime Venus palettes and the grunge palettes and I wanted this for so long you don't even know look at the color range I mean it is beautiful like that that palette it screams me it is me in a palette I want to be buried in this and it is controversial because I don't feel aware but there was this whole thing of lamb crime and they would um, do something with their uh, I don't know what they would um, leak um, some information I don't know I was not on the scene when that was happening so I'm clueless